Rob, Air Rodgers is being considered for the potential vice president spot for Robert Kennedy, who is running as an independent for president. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is running for president on an, as an independent, and he is considering Aaron Rodgers, Jesse Ventura, who you remember, I remember, the professional wrestler, and Rob, I remember when he ran for governor of Minnesota, and I thought it was like a joke. And he won. He was a wrestler, and he won. Right. Well, don't don't forget that uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger won the governorship yep. of California. Don't forget that Ronald Reagan, who was, was an a actor. great actor, Chris, right. wound up being president. Had two terms, in fact, as president, yep. right? Uh, yep. So, you know, no, it's you're, happened you're before. Right. right. You're it's absolutely right. Um, and so, you know, we don't want to get into the politics of it. But Aaron Rodgers says that he is considering this. Now, there are other candidates, too. It's not just Ventura and Rodgers. But what I want to focus on, Rob, is if you're the Jets and you've paid this guy handsome, he's going to make about $35 million this year, which we know, you know, for quarterbacks, particularly of his ilk, that's not a lot. But still, $35 million guaranteed this season. And, Rob, they have done everything, right, bent over backwards, to do whatever he wants them to do. Sign your friend to be your backup. Done. Go get Randall Cobb, even though he's been washed for years. Done. Don't go out and get a legitimate backup. I mean, now they they got uh, Tyrod Taylor. That's legit. But, you know, he knows Tyrod's not a threat to his job. Um, So all the, they're doing everything. They've done everything they've that he's wanted them to do. And now, Rob, if you're the Jets, if you were Woody Johnson, and you heard this news, are you like, wait, wait, you're considering what? Now, I don't know when they would, obviously he would, I guess they need to make a decision relatively soon. So it shouldn't, you know, he should make a decision long before the season, of course. So it it doesn't if he just says no or if he's not chosen, it's not going to be an issue. But Rob, I, I mean, I, 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 I would talk it. with Aaron and be like, I, and I don't think he's going to get it. I'm just saying, if you're the Jets, would you be a bit bothered by this? Like, no, I, I, it wouldn't bother me at all because until Chris, the only issue is because this is going to happen in a couple of weeks. Okay, if you're going to have a ticket, here we are well, that, in, right. in and April. That's the thing. It ain't going to be like. Uh, the, the week before the election, okay? So, so. But uh, what if he asks him if he says, "I want you, Aaron," and Roger says, "Okay, I'm in." That's fine. Then, then the time is to move on. You don't want anybody who doesn't want to be there. But we just heard Aaron Rodgers on a podcast or something, or McAfee say he want to play three or four years. Right? You That's can't my have point. it. That's, like, like this is what this is this dude thinking? This is lunacy, and this is Chris. I, I, I just don't. I don't. I don't think this story. Robert Kennedy, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. could want to have Aaron Rodgers or put his name out there and think, oh, yeah, well, he's got uh, name recognition. This guy was going to uh, replace Alec Trebek at one point. You remember how close he was? Like yeah. he, he was a front runner to, to be on the biggest game show in the country. I mean, he was that close. And then all of a sudden, uh, everything has unraveled since then. But I just would take this with a grain of salt because – I don't believe that there's anything to this. I I just don't. Well, as what far we as just what? about him being? Uh, I, I just think this. I mean, is you think the story's not true? No, I'm just. I don't think that he's going. I to I agree it. with you. I don't I, think I, he's going to get it. I, I just I just think when you when you're but talking the story about it, Chris, seems to be legitimate. Yeah, I'm not I'm not saying that you don't consider people like you know what I mean. Like his name is in a hat, but I just don't believe that Aaron Rodgers is going to run on a ticket with Robert F. Kennedy as an independent and give up his football career. Because I, I, you can't do that. Then both. why not just say to Robert Kennedy, hey, look, I, I, I we have similar I don't know. Is that, so there's a quote on there that Aaron Rodgers said that. Is there a quote from him saying? I'm, um, I'm, there is. Let's see. 
Rodgers, 40. This is the ESPN.com by Rich Zamini, mm-hmm. a four-time NFL MVP and former Super Bowl champion with the Green Bay Packers, is an ardent Kennedy supporter, frequently mentioning him in interviews. That's probably how he got on Kennedy's radar as far as Of course. As he, he's, a, he's, a, he's an anti-vaccine guy like Robert right. F. Kennedy. Okay. Right. I, I, so they got, they got a bond. I got that. Uh, okay. Let's see. The domain, obviously, are... Rogers, uh, I'm trying to find. I'm sure there. I know I saw Rob, the Rob G. Did you see you anything? Go that ahead, Rob G. Yeah, it was. Yeah, he that, said. I mean, there. It wasn't a quote. I don't think. No. But, so the most con- the most concrete information is courtesy of Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s representatives who have spoken to New York Times, Fox News, a couple of other outlets. Right. Saying that yes, that he has been in quote continuous contact with Rogers over the last month about the job. That Rogers is currently at the quote top of his list. And the domain name for what it's worth, KennedyRogers.com, has already been registered as of last week. But where? I mean, but, but no Rob, quote that from Rogers. Like a little, no quote. That from sounds Rogers, like no. a little. I mean, but but why is why are Kennedy's people putting that out there? I, I'm that he's saying, at the top Chris, of his list. And I, all I'm saying is this. And if that's true, and they told it to the New York Times and all these other places, so I, I'm going to assume it's true. I'm not saying they've it's been talking fault, for a month. I'm not saying been, it's. But what I'm saying is, Aaron, it sounds like they've been talking for a month. If he asked Aaron Rodgers, and again, I'm not saying he is, but if he asked Aaron Rodgers to be his vice presidential candidate, it sounds like there's a good chance of him doing it. And that's his right, and if he wants to do it, fine. But if I'm the Jets, I'm like, well, Aaron, I thought you wanted to play two, three, four more years. I we 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 basically you don't have to say this to him, but we waited all last year for you. We didn't go get a better quarterback because we thought you were coming back, and now you're out on us. And we don't know what he would do, Rob, but it, it does sound like it's some substance to the story. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying that he's not being considered. I, I'm just telling you, I don't believe that Aaron Rodgers, who just last week talked about playing three or four years, is seriously. It's flattering, Chris. Somebody thinks that you could be vice president. Like it's flattering, and 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 you're kind of Aaron likes that whole uh, being attention. out there. Yeah. yeah, attention and being out there. But but do I really believe? That this guy was out on a football field weeks after he got uh, had a bad injury, you know what I mean, and all this. Well, why wouldn't he? T- why would he let this drag out for a month? Because he likes the attention. That, that that's it. But yeah, but at some point, if I'm the Jets, I'm I, they got a it's, man it's the, up. At it's some the point. All, it's the off season. Nothing's going on. The only way I would, if I'm the Jets, I'd worry about it is in two weeks. This guy's going to pick his guy. If he picks Aaron Rodgers, Aaron didn't, and Aaron says yes, he didn't want to play football. I don't want them. No, I mean, that, look, I get it. It, 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 it. They can probably the smart thing to do if you're the Jets. Let's do say nothing. Is just talk to him. I, I mean, now you need, it, hopefully he's been up front with them and saying, look, Robert Kennedy Jr. Is really, and see, so you know what the Jets to, have done? It, it, and they did the right to thing, Me Chris. to be on his list. The Tyrod Jets have, Taylor. The Jets, no, the Jets have denied Comment. They won't even comment on it. No, that's because fine. because it's but, just smart not to comment. Two right, weeks will it, come because he has to decide in a couple of weeks. I agree right on right. that, but privately they should be talking to him and seeing what's going on. Is he really considering this? And look, if he is, you 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 wash your hands of him in this whole little episode that I and he would have another end up uh, going anywhere anyway. But the, but they wind up having the same exact thing that happened with Brett Favre. Like almost one yeah, year, it'd be different the same things. But yeah, right, right. One he didn't year get to they play got as much as Favre, but yeah, yeah. very similar. One year injured, and then Favre gone. was injured. Yep. yep, and that was it. But it's just it's it's a bad situation for them. Um, you know, because they're counting on having this guy. All the teammates are counting on having him. And I just feel like, and you're right, he does love the attention. This hasn't been public for a month. He's just apparently reportedly been talking with Kennedy and his people. Right, this for a just month. came out in the New York Times. Right, right, right. Like, but like, 
if you, I mean, I, that'd be interesting, right? Because, and I get it. Look, if you can be, I mean, who, who, who not saying he'd win, but if he's got a chance to run for VP, that is exciting if you're, if you're into that. Uh, yeah, it is. And so and you, you can't just, just, you can't just say, hey, you know, you can't blame him. I, I mean, obviously that'd be a great thing if you could do it, but. Why, Rob, what I didn't like, if this, I mean, this is true, he's been talking to Kennedy for a month, why come out, as you said last week, and say, I want to play two, three, four more years? I don't get it. I, I'm, we, we, we heard the audio uh, two or three more years or four years or whatever it is. I don't want to be Tom Brady, but I still want to play another two or three more years or whatever after this year. I just It sounds ridiculous because – that happen as the other thing is going on. That's right. why I don't really buy into it other than he's being considered. He's flattered. The idea, Chris, that the news would come out that this guy's being considered, that somebody thinks that highly of him to think that he could run as an independent and win a, a presidential election or whatever it is, ego, whatever it is. Are we going to do something that's never been done and we're going to do this? I, I mean, whatever, whatever it is. Um, I think that's why you don't just brush it off. Uh, you know what I mean? I think you just don't being just considered. Brush it off. Yeah, because you're being considered. That's all. He, he hasn't. He hasn't formally. He's and the you know only. What? He's the only non-politician on the short list. I, I just think Rogers is all over the place. I mean, and this isn't the first example. No, this is it. And this is know, who he like is now, Rob, Chris. A, this is right. Who he is. A, a, a year ago, he was ninety percent sure he was retiring. Now he wants to play four more years, and then, and and now then a he week wants to later, run for VP. I, exactly. <laughs> he's all I mean, over really, the place. He's all, yeah, he really is. It's you know, it, it, I, people. I think early on, Rob, in his career, people felt like they didn't know Rogers, and now they they feel like they know him. But he's kind of all over the place. I, I'll and, say um, this though, for for all the other stuff, w- before it became fashionable, Aaron Rodgers spoke out. For Colin Kaepernick, I, I always I I appreciate his his uh, honesty. Chris, you remember when he came out and said it's never been about the flag? You remember that whole thing? Right. Like he was one of the right. few, especially white quarterbacks, to speak up on that. So he's had his moments on both sides of the fence, as far as I'm concerned. Like opinions, this is who he is, and people can either like him or dislike him. But sometimes this this is the thing about sports. Sometimes people. You don't really. Do you really want to know your heroes? Do you really want to know their inner thoughts? Do you? You know what I mean? Like, well, like there's that's always. Open. What is that saying? Don't meet your heroes. Yeah, you'll like be that, disappointed. Something to that effect. Like that's what a lot of people. They, you know, you think you know somebody. You watch them, and you you only see them as a player. You know, you don't see them as anything else. And then you find out that their thoughts or beliefs aren't like yours, and it changes how you look at somebody. It's it's human nature. 